Hi, this is Cousin Russ. I'm going to uh, do a short subject video on what to do before you install Family Tree Maker 2019. I'm sure you all are eagerly ready to use Family Tree Maker 2019. Uh, the program was released to us on September 28th, 2019. Congratulations to Software Mac EF for making this program available on the 30th anniversary of the first release of Family Tree Maker. So what I want to do is talk about what to do before you install Family Tree Maker 2019. That doesn't mean you don't download it, but it's before you install Family Tree Maker 2019. And I will demonstrate what I'm talking about here in a minute. First thing is open Family Tree Maker 2017, your current version of Family Tree Maker. And then click on Tools, click on Compact and Backup, and do the Compact again. You don't have to back it up the second time, but you want that file to be uh, compact to 0.00%. .00 it may take one or two times, additional times to do the compact and do that for each of the files that you have in Family Tree Maker 2017. This is also a precaution, and, but get it down to 0.00% and I've written blog posts about that in the past. I'm gonna demonstrate it actually, but I just wanna emphasize to do the compact backup before you go further, then click File, Close. It's important that you click File, Close, and then File, Exit. Don't just close the program down. Don't use the red X for Windows people in the upper right-hand corner or the red dot in on the Mac. Use File, Close, File, Exit. So that is in 2017, and you've closed down 2017. Now you're going to install Family Tree Maker 2019, whether it's a download, a CD, or a, a thumb drive. The first thing you're going to be asked is, have you backed up your file? Well, so if you followed my suggestions, you will have done that so you can say yes. Then you'll be introduced to the Copilot program. This is not new to 2019. This was done in 2017 as well. And I'll give you a link to, um, so you can see what the Copilot program is about. And at the end of 48 hours, you'll be asked to do a give feedback to the developers. Uh, Jack Minsky, the president of Software Makiev and the developer for Family Tree Maker says it's our way of making sure everybody is having a good flight. Give them feedback, give them honest feedback, your experience in using uh, this program. Uh, the information I want to send you to is on familytreemaker.com. Um, there's a link and now it'll be in uh, on the blog with this recording, the launch status, it is our understanding that the launch status should be completed the end of the weekend of the first weekend of October in 2019. So the, there's a launch status and I'll, the link will be below. There'll be a link that describes the co-pilot program so you can see what's about now, as I, even as I speak just right now, uh, there have been some sync outages. Um, if you experience that, if you're in, when you're in 2017, check the sync weather report uh, in the upper right-hand corner or in the planned workspace to see what's going on. But I'll give you a link so you can see uh, what the sync status is. Okay, so let's go into Family Tree Maker. This is Family Tree Maker 2017. On the left are uh, six files that I have had open, and I have 
done the compact and backup for all of these files, but I'm gonna, I left one for us to do here. So I'm going to open it. And there's the, the, the task, the plan workspace. So I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to compact file. I'm going to put a check mark in both the compact before compacting and perform extended analysis and click compact. Now, I have a practice and I've blocked about this of I have a specific folder in Family Tree Maker uh, on my hard drive for all my backups. And it has the file name and it has the date. And what I do is to add a dash and uh, the time. I, I do that because I have a tendency to do more than one backup a day. And I put it into a, cust uh, a custom directory on my hard drive. You wanna make sure that all of the boxes are checked uh, and you, whether you do that normally or not, that's up to you. But for this process, you wanna make sure that all of these boxes are checked and that's how it is by default. So I click on OK and it has now backed up. N now the co it's compacting the file. What's important is to watch this next screen. Now, this time, it said it was reduced to 0.0% and that's what you want. Now I said a minute ago, get it down to 0.00%. It's there, but let me de demonstrate what I do differently if this specific window doesn't say 0.00% this time. I go back to the uh, tools menu. I click compact and this time I the second time I do it I only do the perform extended analysis and that I, I've already just backed it up so I don't need to re-back it up but I want to get it down to zero uh, percent and that's what I I don't need to have a check mark in that top box and is in fact zero point zero percent now, now that that file is backed up, ready for 2019, I can click File, Exit. So I have no files open, and my best practice is File, Exit. Oops. So I, I did the, let me go back one slide. And there we go, file exit, file close. So what I did is FTM 2017, I opened it. I went to tools, compact file and backup. Compact down to 0.0%. I did not do the backup the second time, but that is your choice. Uh, I, I, From experience, I know that I can just go back to compact only. Uh, file close, these, la these steps are important. File close, file exit, and then you install. And uh, I think I've covered all of these things and I'll give you the link in a minute. So that's what you do before you download, install Family Two Maker 2019. And again, please use that uh, co-pilot status program to give feedback to the developers. Thank you and have a great day.